Hey there, I'm Nicole King. I'm the broker owner of 41 Realty Group in Billings, Montana. And today I'm with Jessica Brophy. She is the owner of Free Indeed Art here in Billings. And um, I really appreciate you coming and talking with me today. Yeah. Uh, I heard about you through networking groups here in Billings. And there's something very, very different about you and your art. And I really wanted everybody to hear about it. So thank you for coming in and tell us. What is Free Indeed and what makes it different? Yeah, so um, I own Free Indeed Art. It's an art studio in Billings. We're located on Milani Way. And my company makes custom fine art. So what that means is that we don't show in any galleries. We just work one-on-one -on -one with um, each client. And then they get to decide what their painting looks like. And they go through the process with me. Okay. Um, I have an assistant artist, Libby, who works with me as well. So okay. she also sells her art through Free Indie Art. Perfect. So we've got some examples here, but this isn't the only style that you do, right? right yeah. So when you say you customize it, truly, like, people pick their palette, pick the style that you paint in, and everything, right? Yeah. So tell us a little bit more about that customization. So there's five aspects to every piece of art that you'll ever see. Okay. There's a subject, there's a size, there's a medium. There's a style and then a color palette. Okay. So, so I don't know what any of those mean. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this was actually informed by the interior design industry. So this is okay. all something that I've come up with on my own through having an interior design education. So okay. no other artist out there is doing this process this way. Okay. So there's artists out there that will take commission work, um, mm -hmm. but they will take commission work and they will do it in their style and usually their subject that they paint in so okay I could be like a equestrian artist and I would only work in oils and do realistic art and so if I got a commission and somebody says paint my horse then that's what I would do with that commission custom art goes further so okay um when I was trying to develop a business plan I realized that every painting or piece of art has these five characteristics so okay subject is obviously like if we take this painting here as an example the subject is a horse. Mm -hmm. The size, this is 10 by 10, I believe. Okay. Um, it looks 10 by 10. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Um, and then the medium is oil. Okay. So I offer seven different mediums. Oil is the most popular. Okay. There's a style to it. So the style is what does the painting look like and how detailed is it, what colors did I use, et cetera. So there's okay. a thousand different styles out there. Um, the main ones that I will advertise and tell my client about are realism. Uh, there's loose realism. Like these down here would be considered loose realism. Okay. They still look like what they are, but okay. there's some painterly brush strokes in there. This is more on the side of what I would call hyper realism. So it's mimicking a photograph as closely as possible. Okay. Um, then you have like impressionism and abstract and everything. So that's okay. style. The last thing is color palette. So okay. this color palette is gray and um, white with some yeah. blue in it. So that's pretty okay. straightforward. So somebody could come to you and say they have this big wall in their living room and they have a particular color palette that their house already has. And you can work with them to choose whatever is going to mesh, mesh well with what their existing design style is in their house. Yeah. They can pick anything. Yeah. And you can do it, which is incredible. Incredible talent. I am Thank always, you. always impressed. Um, you do a lot of work on Facebook and Instagram where you show us your your process of yeah. creating the art, and it is just impressive. Thank you. So I'm, yeah. yeah, you're very, very talented. Thank you. Yeah, so that's the beauty of custom art is I don't just do realism. I don't just paint horses. I don't just paint dogs. Somebody could come to me with as specific of an idea as they want or okay. as loose of an idea as they want. I have had some clients that say, I have this spot on my wall that I need to fill and my room is purple okay. and I like fish. And so then oh. we would just go with that and yeah. then create a piece of art off of that. On the flip side of that same coin, I've had people come to me um, and say, I have this specific room and it needs to be a portrait of my thoroughbred and I only select realistic art and it has to be in a gold frame and then I bring in a gold frame as well. So yeah, that's just amazing. Thank so you. It's a lot if of people want to commission you to have a custom art piece, where can they find you? The best place to find me is Facebook. So 
Um, I have a business page, Free Indeed Art, um, but probably the best way is just to friend me on Facebook under Jessica Brophy. Um, and then you can message me on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok, even if you're a TikToker. And um, that's probably the best place to find out. Okay. Thank you again yeah. for coming in. Absolutely. We will link all of the ways that you can get a hold of Jessica if you want some custom art. Um, I'll definitely give her a follow on all the different social platforms. You will not be disappointed by what you see. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video.